The Nigerian politician Ike Ekweremma, the wife and Dr. Obeta, guilty of organ trafficking to UK. So this case has been on for quite a while now. It started since last year. Alleged 21-year-old boy accused him of bringing him to UK under the falsehood cousin to the next organ to the ailing daughter who has been battling kidney disease in the UK. So finally, the court has taken their decision after almost a year of going back and forth on the case. A senior Nigerian politician, his wife and a doctor have been convicted of organ trafficking in the first verdict of this kind on the Modern Slavery Act in the UK. So Ike Kweremado Sisti, a former deputy president of the Nigerian Senate, and his wife Beatrice, 56, and Dr. Obina Obeta, 51, were found guilty of facilitating the travel of a young man to Britain with a view to his exploitation. After a six-week trial, they criminally conspired to bring the 21-year-old Lagos street trader to London to exploit him for his kidney. The man had been offered an illegal reward to become a donor for the senator's daughter after kidney disease forced her to drop out of a master's degree in film at Newcastle University. His daughter, Sonia Ekweremado, was not found guilty. In February 2022, the man was falsely presented to a private renal unit at Royal Free Hospital in London as Sonia's cousin in a failed attempt to persuade medics to carry out an £80,000 transplant. It is really interesting how Nigerian politicians are willing to commit a lot of money to save their children at the expense of ordinary Nigerian citizens. Just imagine £80,000, what it can do for an ordinary Nigerian citizen. Even when the guy came to the hospital, the medical secretary acted as an evil translator between the man and the doctors to help try to convince them that he was an altruistic donor. That means donating without any incentive attached to it. Because in UK, for you to be a kidney donor, it has to be truly an altruism, nothing attached to it, no money transaction, no benefits whatsoever. So, at the end of the day, the behavior of a Kweremado, who is a successful lawyer and the founder of anti-poverty, Charity, who helped draw up Nigerian laws against organ trafficking, showed entitlement, dishonesty, and hypocrisy, the prosecutor Hugh David Casey told the jury. He said they were a model who owned several properties and the staff of AT agreed to reward someone for a kidney for his daughter, somebody in circumstances of poverty and from whom he distanced himself and made no inquiries, with whom for his own political protection, he wanted no direct contacts. The prosecutor went ahead to say that what he agreed to was not simply expedient in the clinical interest of the daughter, Sonia. It was exploitation. It was criminal. It is no defense to say he acted out of love for his daughter. Her clinical needs cannot come at the expense of the exploitation of somebody in poverty. Ekweremadu, who denied the charges, told the court he was a victim of scam. Obeta, who also denied the charge, the doctor claimed the man was not offered a reward for his kidney and was acting altruistically. Beatrice denied any knowledge of the alleged conspiracy and uh, Sonia did not give evidence. However, WhatsApp messages shown in the court revealed Obeta charged Ekweremadu 4.5 million naira about eight thousand pounds made up of an agent fee and a donor fee so at the end of the day because of eight thousand pounds now he's going to lose his license and he's going to jail i think on may 5th the sentence will come so be able to know how many years they're going for Ekweremado and obeta admitted falsely claiming the man was sonia's cousin in his visa application and in documents presented to the hospital the prosecutor said Ekweremado ignored medical advice to find a donor for his daughter among genuine family members he said then the judge mr justice jeremy will pass the sentence on may 5th it is quite unfortunate nigeria politicians hmm, this will serve as a lesson but will they even learn Instead of them to do the right thing in Nigeria, build hospital so that everybody will benefit, the citizens, rich and poor, no. They want to make it a class thing. They will use Nigerian resources, run abroad to take medical treatment, 
pay for their children's school fees because this man almost all his children studied abroad and the poor nigerian can't even see public school to go to because right now public schools is nothing to write home about most of nigerian students are enrolling in private universities private secondary school private primary school is that bad and the money for all these are very exorbitant so you have to be really above average for you to pay for all this so people from poor background they have nothing really going for them it is business as usual politicians they take nigerian money and they use it for the benefit of their own family their immediate family and printed as if everything is okay it's the same for a model also last year efcc came up with a for sure of his 40 properties nigerian politician has 40 properties it's not the only one most of them that's why they do everything to get to power look at what happened in the last election how talks intimidation talks were everywhere at the police station forcing people who to vote and who not to vote for it is high time nigerian politicians took another leave they are the ones that rig election they are the ones that put themselves there is it that nigerian citizens they don't have anything to offer they don't even have anything to do to help the situation it's just business as usual every tom dick and harry wants to get into politics politics in nigeria is like a, a very lucrative business they've turned nigeria into their they are private company where they make money as much as they want and they don't invest it back in the country. They use it for the benefit of their family. I hope this will serve as a lesson. This is a landmark in the course of Nigerian democracy where Nigerian politician is the first to be convicted under the Modern Slavery Act. According to the story, this is the first verdict of its kind under this Modern Slavery Act. So to think that he's a lawyer, yeah, he knows the implication of this and still went ahead to do that so let me know what you guys think think about what is happening right now about the way nigerian politicians treat ordinary nigerian citizens so i would like to see your comments in the comment section i'm gonna sign off here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed